you think this dill pickle is a conductor or an insulator? How about this cup of water? Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science, and is it a conductor or insulator? A conductor is an object or material that allows the flow of negatively charged electrons in one or more directions, which results in electric current. An electrical insulator is a material in which the electrons do not flow freely. What we will do in this video is take a look at some different objects. We have some metals, some plastics, a sharpie, how about a pickle, and some water. We will hook it up to some electricity and see if it is a conductor or an insulator. So here's how I'm going to test if it's a conductor or an insulator. I have a simple circuit. The object I'm testing will complete the circuit. In this example, a pickle. If the light turns on, it indicates it's a conductor and allows the flow of electrons. If the light does not turn on, it's an insulator because it stops the flow of electrons. Up first, we have copper. Hook it up, and yes, it's a conductor. How about this piece of plastic? Flip the switch, nothing happens. It is going to be an insulator. Now we move on to another piece of metal. It's aluminum. Flip the switch, and yes, it is a conductor. Now, how about some wood? Hook it up, flip the switch, nothing happens. So it is an insulator. After the block of wood, let's try this. How about we try a Sharpie? It's plastic, it's hooked up, we go to the switch, and nothing happens. So it is an insulator. How about this? Let's try some water. I've got two nails hooked in. I flip the switch. Nothing happens. Well, let's modify the water slightly. Let's add some salt. As I add the salt, I pour it in. I go back to the switch. What do you think? Is it going to change? I hit the switch, and yes, it is now a conductor. The salt allows the electrons to move freely. Next, let's try this screwdriver. The reason why I use this, I have plastic on one end, metal on the other. I flip the switch, nothing happens. But now, if I move it to where it is touching metal only, it's now a conductor. So the plastic helps insulate it. How about this? How about the pickle? It has a lot of salt in it. Well, I don't know about that. I plug it in. It smokes a lot. It glows. But I would consider it an insulator. How about celery? It kind of tastes salty. Maybe it has enough salt in there. I plug it in. And, well, you can see for yourself. Nothing really happens. Well, it does start smoking a little bit. So, let's see what happens with the celery with 110 volts going through it smoking but it is an insulator it's kind of cool looking though next how about the apple uh, it's kind of a dud well not really it's an insulator so if you need to insulate an apple is your object so let's summarize what we learned on the conductor side and they're green because they allow the flow of electrons we have copper aluminum salt water the metal portion of a screwdriver, in addition the human body, iron, and silver. And the insulators are red because they stop the flow of electrons. By the way, most electrical insulators and conductors are also thermal insulators and conductors. We have plastic, wood, the sharpie because it's plastic, the plastic end of the screwdriver, the pickle, celery, apple, and in addition, you have rubber, glass, and dry air. If you'd like to know more about conductors and insulators, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching, and Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day.